I'm Corporal Clayton Filipovich from the Corps Report, and I'm here with the gear. Going great for Randy right now. You feel okay, Randy? You feel okay? Okay. Randy's got problems right now. Going through these woods is definitely not easy, especially with four Marines. You got a faulty stretcher right now, and Randy's not even that heavy in Marines. Probably first class PFT. Basically what we did right there was we did a time trial to see how four Marines could run through the woods with the stretcher, assemble it, pick up a casualty, and then run them all the way back to where they started. So all in all, how long did it take us to get all the way down, pick up the casualty, and get them back to four Marines? We have two minutes to get down there and 12 minutes to get back. So 14 minutes total. <sighs> all right, now let's go check out the new technology. <laughs> by Carlos Caceres, who's an engineer with the project, and right now he's operating the system. Now, can you tell me a little bit what it feels like to, uh, to be behind the wheel on this thing? Yeah, of course, uh, as opposed to controlling it without power, it's a lot easier, it's a world of difference. Uh, basically, what you do is you have these pressure sensors on the handles which uh, measure your input, so you can push on the right and turn, push on the left and turn. So as opposed to meeting four or six people to carry it, uh, somebody who's injured or a casualty, you only need one person in this litter you know, to be able to traverse rough terrains or it can handle up to 300 pounds and navigate terrain for about three kilometers. Well, I'll give it a try. I'm, I'm no expert, but uh, all right, so. Stick it up and down. Both wheels operate independently, it kind of feels like. But it's easier than I thought it would be, for sure. I can definitely see myself getting used to it and this could be a huge game changer uh, for Marines down range, for sure. All right, well, thank you, Carlos. I appreciate you. you showing me how to do that. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. The ELC has a ways to go until Marines see it in the field, but it's a great concept with great minds behind it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode of With the Gear.